electrophilic substitution reactions in aromatic amines. These reactions are involved in the benzene ring. Okay. In the case of aniline, example aniline. Aniline. Aniline contains lone pair of electrons in its nitrogen atom. Aniline. Nitrogen atom contains a lone pair of electrons. Okay. These electron pairs are in conjugation with the benzene ring. Okay. As a result of this, the charge on the benzene ring is increased. Charge on the benzene ring is increased. Okay. So, while we are drawing the different resonating structures, we can see that the ortho and para positions are electron rich. Okay. So, ortho and para positions, electrophilic substitution takes place. Okay. Electrophilic substitution or electrophiles gets attacked at ortho and para positions. Okay. Ortho and para positions. Electrophile, electrophilic attacks takes place at the ortho and para position. So, different electrophilic substitution reactions are taking place in the case of anilines. Okay. First reaction is bromination reaction. Let us see what will happen. With bromine water, first bromination reaction takes place with bromine water. case of this reaction, this is the NH2 group present in aniline is highly activated with bromine and forms tribromoaniline. Okay, reaction will be like this. Aniline on bromination tribromoaniline will be obtained. Okay. 2, 4, 6 tribromo aniline. This will be the product because due to the presence of this NH2 group, this benzene is highly electron rich. Okay, so bromine will come and attack. So it is highly activated by this NH2 group benzene ring. So bromine will come and attack by the on the ortho and para positions of the benzene. Okay. Now, next, if we have to obtain a mono substituted aniline derivative, mono substituted aniline derivative, what we have to do? We have to control the activating effect of aniline. We have to control activating effect of NH2 group. Okay. Effect of NH2 group. By acetylation reaction, acetylation reaction, that is on reaction with acetic anhydride. Let us see the reaction. Okay, see the reaction. First, aniline on reaction with acetic anhydride, what will happen? Aniline. CH3, CO twice O, presence of pyridine. Okay. This NH2 groups get converted into acetanilide group. That is like this. NH, CO, CH3. Okay. This NH, CO, CH3 is less active compared to NH2. This is called as acetanilide. Next, next bromination takes place. Presence of acetic acid. Okay. So, the major product will be para bromo acetanilide. Okay. NHCO CH3. Para bromo acetanilide. Okay. 
next on hydrolysis what will happen hydrolysis nh2 nh2 group is regenerated okay like this so para bromo aniline will be obtained like this we can obtain a mono substituted aniline derivative okay we can see that why this acetanilide becomes less active okay acetanilide becomes less active because this acetanilide group nh c double bond o ch3 this group is resonance stabilized in comparison with what with nh2 group okay see this is resonance stabilized so like this n plus c O minus CH3. Okay. Due to this resonance stabilization, the electron pair present in the nitrogen is no less available for conjugation with benzene ring. It is less available for the conjugation with benzene ring. Conjugation with benzene. Okay. So what will happen? So NHCOCH3 group, that's it, acetanilide group is less active than NH2 group. Okay. Okay. Less active than NH2 group. So this will be less active towards the electrophilic reagent. That is why uh, we can obtain monosubstituted derivative by acetylation reaction. Okay. Next reaction is nitration reaction. Direct nitration of aniline gives oxidation products in addition to the nitro derivatives. So in strongly acidic medium, in strongly acidic medium, it's a mixture of HNO3 and H2SO4. Okay. The reaction takes place. Okay. At first aniline is protonated and form anilinium ion. Form anilinium ion. Like this. See. Aniline. Plus H plus protonated. Gets converted into anilinium ion. NH3 plus. Here, nitrogen is having a positive charge and this anilinium ion is metadactic. Because in the case of anilinium ion, meta position is more electrophilic. Okay, so meta product will be obtained. So, on nitration, we will get a mixture of para, ortho and meta derivative like this aniline. Nitration HNO3 and H2SO4 at a temperature of 288 Kelvin, three products are obtained that is NH2 para position NO2 plus meta meta nitro aniline and ortho nitro aniline will be obtained so mixture of all these products is 51% 47% and 2% okay so in order to get a single product that is para nitro derivative we have to protect the nh2 group by acetylation reaction that is on reaction with acetic anhydride Okay, so we will get a para nitro derivative. Let us see the reaction. Aniline. With acetic anhydride CH3CO twice forms acetanilide. NHCO CH3 will be obtained. Okay, next on reaction with HNO3 and H2SO4. 
a 288 Kelvin reaction takes place and form paranitroacetanilide. Paranitro. Next, on hydrolysis, it's converted into this NH2 group is regenerated and form paranitro anion. Okay. This will be the reaction. Paranitro anion. Okay. Next reaction is sulfonation reaction. Sulfonation. One reaction with fuming sulfuric acid. In the case of sulfonation, no need of protection of NH2 group because sulfuric acid is a weak oxidizing agent. Is a weak oxidizing agent. Okay. So reaction takes place directly. Okay. First, it forms anilinium hydrogen sulfide on reaction with fuming sulfuric acid. Then on heating, it gets converted into an intermediate known as sulfonic acid. Okay. This intermediate rearranges and forms and the product called para-aminobenzene sulfonic acid. That a para derivative is obtained. Let us see the reaction. Anilin with sulfuric acid. For anilinium just so for minus anilinium hydrogen sulfate will be obtained. Okay. On heating at 453 to 473 Kelvin water molecule is removed. Gets converted into an intermediate called NH HSO3 minus NH HSO3 okay. or NH SO3H. This will be the intermediate called as sulfonic acid. Okay, this will be obtained. This product then rearranges. Rearranges. And for paraderivative like this, NH2, SO3H. This is para amino benzene sulfonic acid. It's also known as sulfanilic acid. Okay, sulfanilic acid. This derivative contains both basic and acidic groups okay so it is dipolar in nature and it forms a sweeter ion like this nh3 plus so3 minus this is called a sweeter ion okay a sweeter ion will be obtained okay so sweeter ion Sulfanilic acid. Okay. Now, the derivative of the sulfanilic acid, amide derivative, amide compound is known as sulfanilamide. Okay. Sulfanilamide. Sulfanilamide and its derivatives are very helpful. Uh, it is very useful. Uh, for the uh, egg, it is used against bacterial infections. Okay, this sulfanilamide and its derivatives are also called as sulfa drugs. So called as sulfa drugs, which is used against bacterial infections. Okay. Next, Fiddlecraft's reaction. Aniline will not give. Fiddlecraft's acylation and alkylation reaction because due to the formation of salt, salt formation, 
with AaCl3. Okay. This salt contains nitrogen atom which is having positive charge. Okay. Nitrogen atom is having positive charge. Due to this positive charge, it acts as a strong deactivating group. This NH2 group acts as a strong deactivating group. Okay. So, Fiddler cross alkylation and acylation will not take place in the case of anilin.